be right back, all right? I'm just going to get Tammy so she can introduce herself, all right? Okay. Be right back.
water. Appreciate Anything that. else? I think I'm okay. Okay. So we'll be in here in just a few minutes, okay? Thank you.
guy's coming to help us. I just, I would do it myself, but it's like there's so many different, no, I haven't used this phone in years. Okay. And like right now, my So it's not very new? This is old. Okay. I haven't used this since like 2016. And so all these numbers on here are numbers of people I've gotten since then. What I don't want is with like the media and all this other stuff going on is have a phone just full of unknown content. Sure, I get it. Like, so he's going to come over and turn your Wi-Fi on and figure out how to move. Oh, he's, he knows okay. I'll about this. Do that. I give up. Okay. So your phone this time... Do you have any objections to us looking at everything in your phone? Why do you even need that? I'm just curious. Like, why do you need everything as opposed to stuff so when, Well, because it's easier to get it. And we, if we're looking at all the material, let's say I take everything off your phone. I can put a date in, like let's say August 10th through the 15th, because those are critical days. Uh -huh. But other conversations between you and Chris, or other text messages between you and Chris from uh, June or July, then it makes it harder for me to find all those. Do you understand what I mean? It's easier well, for them to just take number, everything. Right? I don't know. Are they? Yeah. I mean, except for when I first met them, it was his APC thing. Okay. And but then what about uh, your phone log? It's always his 9 yeah, M0 number. All the time. Right. Like it's and always that we, one or originally it was his. We phone talked about your GPS uh, location. Like, knowing where your phone is yeah. at certain times. I mean, you guys can have all that. I just was like, oh my God, I have so many texts on here between me and all my friends. I'm like, do they really want all this stuff? Well, is there anything in those texts that you'd be concerned with? Not really. So, well, not really or yes or no? No, I mean, like, I the other day, my dad and I just had to do some damage control because a lot of people were like, hey, please call me, I don't know what to say. And I just told them all, like, I didn't say anything. I pretty much just said, if media trips contact you, tell them no comment. I was like, please be nice to them. Like, you do not need to talk to them. It was like, I'm safe. I'm not in trouble. I've been breaking laws. And I was just like, just send your love and support. And that was all I said to people. So did that prompt all the phone calls of people going, no, are you okay? they were prompting me. Right. And that that is why I did that. Because I didn't even want to like say that, but I was getting all sorts of texts from people that were like, media is trying to contact me. I don't know what to do. I didn't tell them that I was a witness. I didn't tell them anything about that. It was just like, just say no comment. I need you to do this. Okay. And then a couple of my like super, super close friends, I asked them if they would be courteous enough to take all the pictures that we had of each other off Facebook and social media, and they said yes, and that was like a couple of really close friends. Is there any text messages between you and friends that reference anything that would be concerning regarding this case? No. Like talking about Chris? I think you've told me that you've never even really talked with my friends about him. No, and like my friend's dad died last night, like yesterday. I'm not worried about that. No, I know, but she started like, oh my god, she was really drunk last night. She started like freaking out. She's like, I don't know what's going on in your life. She's like, I don't know if it pertains to this case. And she like just sent me like a screenshot of a news article of that case. And she was just like, She's like, what about conversation? I, I didn't mention that it had anything to do with that. She's like, I don't know if that's what it is. He works in the dark oak. She's like, I really don't give a shit. She's like, I just really need you to be here with me and my dad and this and this and this. And she was just kind of upset because I had asked her um, to please say no comment to the media. And it happened to be like right when her dad died. And I think she was feeling a little like... Yeah, but I mean, you guys can read this. There's nothing in there of me actually saying anything about it. I just told What's you your phone number on that phone? 720. It's the same phone number that's on this one. Okay. 569605. So, no. I mean, you guys can... You guys can look so, this. between... There was a conversation that I asked you about between you and Charlotte, too. That's the same girl. That same girl who was freaking out. Yeah. So, was there ever a conversation about kids with you and Charlotte? Like, you... I can't remember the exact context, but I guys were talking. I was hanging out with a guy who had kids. Okay. And um, what? She has not even, like, played. Okay. All right. So your that. conversation about him having kids, how did that go? I mean, I don't know. I just told her. She, uh, is he it still, kids. did you yeah, do yeah, that, yeah, or is no, it still? No, 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 no. I don't know. 
I, I have no reason to delete anything else in my phone. Okay. The only reason I deleted all this stuff with Chris is because he was making me feel really uncomfortable and I didn't want to see it in my phone anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, let me scroll all the way back here. We're going to scroll talk a lot. No, she is like... So let's just, while we're here, because we talked about this before, but we didn't talk about the specific context of what that message said regarding the children. So obviously, in the situation that we're looking at now with uh, the death of two children and all the other circumstantial stuff going around in the case, it, you, I just want to make sure there was no comments ever made by you regarding, you know, children or dislike of children or love of children. Either way, Do you, you know what I mean? So it, it's easier for me to just take everything than it is to single it out. Plus, for the purposes of this case, the less exposure, you know, we're, we already have a, initially you drew concern from me when you told me you deleted everything from Chris. I've already told you that. You understand why? There's no question as to why that might cause concern. So if there's anything else that ever comes up, I have it, and then we can just discuss it. Do you understand what I mean? All right. Other than that, there shouldn't really be anything on with other people. But you guys can just pull everything off that corner. As long want. as you're okay with that, that's what would be I mean, if that makes your life easier. Well, it's not just about making it easier, it's just less. So if there's any question, like I told you before, some, like the two girls you just met, did a lot of interviews in this case, they've done a lot of work. They may know things that I don't. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can all know everything. So they might go, oh, because somebody else is the one who told me about Charlotte mm -hmm. um, and this message. So I've never well, read this. Well, that's probably why. Potentially. I'm, I'm assuming that that's yeah. what that is. Because I said his name. And I don't even think she's put two and two together. Because last night, it was just like the way she was talking. She wasn't like, this is him, this is it. She was like, I don't know what's going on. I just assume this is it because this guy looked at Anna Darko, but she is not even like processing. What? 
What do you mean by he can tell he has a lot to take care of in life? What did you mean when you said that? He has a mortgage and he has kids okay. and responsibilities. I mean, he's a father of a house. You're even saying in here he's all about his kids. Yeah. And she was like asking me somewhere in there, like, I mean, everything I had to say about him at that point was like really positive. Like, I think I made it clear that I wasn't like 100% sure this was like the man of my dreams and I was going to spend the rest of my life with him or anything, but I was enjoying the time that I was spending with him at that point. You're referencing that he has two kids and then <clears throat> you don't like that um, because you want to have that experience with somebody else? Is that what I just thought was? I wasn't sure if he was the one that I want to be with because he had already like done everything. Okay. Like I was like it would be really nice to kind of like have kids and have my own marriage and all of that stuff. That was never anything I conveyed to him. So she said, you said he's handsome, huh? Did you send her a picture? Mm-hmm. And that's not attached here? Mm -hmm. Is that because what you did, do you think from what you deleted? I think it's from when I deleted all my <coughs> photos of his stuff. He's kind of short. <laughs> I mean, I talked to her in a way that I wouldn't like talk to him as like my girl. You know what I'm saying? It's I get it. No, I'm just I'm like just teasing you a little bit.
you know, she's all upset because I asked her to mm -hmm. not talk to the media and it happened to be the day that her dad died and I'm sitting here trying to comfort her. Is this your best friend? Yes. This girl is like my whole world. But you're not talking about children or your relationship with Chris or anything like that? No, the only time I ever mentioned him was like that one day. Okay. And I didn't even remember that I even had like said that to her. Cause I just What's her phone number? Um, 720-425-7330. So I'm not going to call her, but at some point you might want to talk to her. Just so you know, I mean, sooner or later she's going to connect the dots or you're going to tell her, right, if she's your best friend. I'm not going to tell her. <clears throat> if she figures it out, she figures it out. Okay. Uh, if we were going to talk to her, I'd let you know beforehand. Is that fair? Yeah, just so I can give her a heads up. Yep. And she apologized to me a lot because she was being kind of crazy last night. <laughs> she was. So tell me about she the like new info that you remember. Okay. Um... See right here. Hold on. Uh, she says, look, man, I know you work at Anadarko. He did, too. I know he murdered his wife and kids. I know he was a dog. I know you're my best friend. I know you have a good heart. I know that you got it. that guy needs to go to jail, and he will. I know you don't want publicity, and neither would I. I know that as a witness, if you say anything, it can cause a mistrial. I know you don't want that, neither do I. Fuck the media. I want my best friend here. I never fucking said anything to her about a trial. Okay. So, but see, look, she, she goes, she goes. I don't even care if you flirted with him or more. I know you had nothing to do with what happened, and I don't care if your job is having an open investigation. I'm not going to ask you a single question, but my pops died, and you're my best friend. Okay. And I said, please stop talking about that. And she said, what, do you want house arrest? And she just keeps saying, my father died. What the fuck? She was not okay last night, and I was just trying to, like, Understandable. mitigate this. Um and I was like trying to calm her down and I said Charlotte I'm trying so hard to be the best friend I can to you right now I said I want to talk to you about that case I didn't say the case I said that case like I wasn't even affiliated with it at all and you need to respect that I'm here for you regarding your daddy you know this and then she's but what's freaking out and freaking you out you guys never had a conversation except for this past text messages about Chris and his children. No, that was it. Okay. That was it. That's fine. I mean, because he wasn't really something that I, like, super wanted everybody to know about. And I shouldn't have even mentioned it when she brought up what she had, like, going on sexually with her fiancé. And it it happened. But at that point... You guys are best friends. It's understandable. Yeah. See, and she keeps trying to talk about it. She says, if you're not under investigation by the police, I don't care. Why can't you attend your so-called best friend's father's death? It doesn't make sense to me. And all I told her was stop. And then she, she said, just like, dad. Yeah, and she just is like freaking out. And finally I just told her, you know, getting mad at me isn't going to bring your dad back. And that okay. is when she chilled. Okay. Well, she kind of went on another rant, but I had nothing to do with Chris. And then she apologized to me this morning for being drunk and sad and angry after <laughs> dad died. What other new information? <sighs> okay, um, see, we got so much going on I didn't even I text it to myself because I can't protect this. <laughs> you, you, you need to make sure before you leave you see Hazel. You need to get some help. I know, I've been asking. Um, oh, so he, he was talking for a few weeks, like he, when he mentioned, give okay. me a time frame. Okay, okay. So he went to North Carolina. When he came back from North Carolina, I was informed sometime either when he was on the trip or when he was like getting back but in that area that they filed for divorce and that um, they were going to put the house up and he for sale. And he was like, she is the one that called the realtor. Because he told me that he had spoke to her when he was in North Carolina about it. And then the next day, she was the one who called the realtor. When you say she, Shanann? Yes. And when you say, the time frame they came back from North Carolina, you don't remember the specific dates, but was like the first or second week of August? Uh, yeah, I, I think I told you guys when they left. I think he left on Tuesday the 31st of July. I do remember you saying that. And I don't remember when he came home. I really don't. 
I don't remember if it was like. So is this a phone conversation or is this a text conversation? No, um, this happened over the phone, and he told me that um, that was when I had said, "Hey, when you go to North Carolina, I really think you should try to fix things with your wife." And he kept asking, "Well, what about us?" And I was trying to kind of take a step back and see if he would fix things before attempting to pursue things with me because I wanted to know that if all of these things he's saying like yes we're getting separated and yes you know all of these things that he's saying are happening are happening I wanted to know that it was like you were doing this like you said you were prior to me coming in your life and it had nothing to do with me you know and so for me it was like I just, I really wanted them to fix it. I would have just, like, left the situation. So tell me why him, Shanann calling a realtor and him mentioning that they were going to be divorced. Why, why do you think it's important? Um, because, so after that, he was like, she's the one who called the realtor. And I remember, I was like, damn, that was fast. Because I knew he told me, like, we were going to put the house up. But they said, he was like, we didn't know how much to offer for it, and we were kind of trying to find somebody. And it like so for the first few weeks that I hung out with him, he kind of like dragged his feet on, "Hey, this is happening." And then after North Carolina, he's like, "Yeah, she wants to put the house up. She's the one that called the realtor." And I was like, kind of taken back, not necessarily at the speed of it, given how long he said that they'd been separating, but the fact that it, she did it like the day after he supposedly sat down and had a conversation with her about, hey, do we fix this or do we not fix this relationship? So, um, do you remember how many days she was back in Colorado before leaving? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Because mm -hmm. I don't remember when they got home. Right. I don't. I'm just trying to get your memory jogged there on that. But So, this was, they get home, he had told you in North Carolina that they agreed to it. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. finalized their relationship. Yeah, it's they get home and she immediately wants to sell the house. Yes, and then um, so I, I mean, I started thinking, okay, well, I know in Colorado houses sell very fast here, so I was like, what's your plan? You know, and I was like, because you might want to be prepared. And I remember that's when the whole concept came up of you probably need to start looking for a new place pretty quick. And that was when he was kind of overwhelmed with it. And I told him, I was like, look, like I just moved a few months ago. Um, and uh, I was like, to find a place that was comfortable for me, it was like, it took like a lot of research. And I told, that's when I offered to help. I was like, I'll help you. And he seemed pretty gung-ho about it for like the first week and he seemed very grateful and I was putting in work on it and I was like calling him and kind of letting him know about places and there really wasn't that many options in Brighton. Um, I found one, I actually texted it to myself before I texted it to him because I was going, I still have that in my phone too. Because um, I found it and it was great but it was like right at the beginning of my search and I was like, I don't want to inundate him. So you said a week. You think you worked on that for a week? No, it, I honestly only probably spent like a few hours over a few days and just trying to like line it up. Just trying to think about how many days she had been back while you were working on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. So you said, did you actually work on it for a week straight? No, no, no. no. Okay. It was just like a couple of days after work. I would just like spend a couple hours if I had time, like at the end of my day or if I didn't go to the gym and just sit down. And I mean, I can give you a day on one that I worked on because I texted that one to myself. This one. I love this one. Um, when is this? Saturday, August 11th. That's the night you guys went out? Uh, yeah. To uh, the lazy dog. Yes. Or the two, the two lazy dogs. Yes. <laughs> All right. What else? Um. Yeah. So the reason that this is important is because he, like, up to that point, seemed like. He was all about it, you know, and I was respecting him. I wasn't like, oh, you need to get this, you need to get that. I was like, what city do you want to live in? What side of town is she staying in? You know, how close do you want to be to work? How close do you want to be to your kids? I mean, I asked him everything. I just wanted him to have something that was accommodating for his whole family, 
and he told me that she was probably going to stay in the Frederick area, but he never said for sure. The first time I asked him, he's like, I don't know where she's going to go, but she'll probably stay in this area. And I was like, Chris, if you're going to get an apartment, like, you need to figure that out because the last thing you want is to be like an hour drive from your kids. It's like, you know, you, you got to be close. And so, um, ended up asking him again like a couple days later and that was when um he was like i think she's staying in the frederick area and i was like okay and that's when i was like starting to get details like where and if you guys find my text you'll see it where i'm asking like where do you want to live like how close do you want to be to work those things like you know um did do you care what gym you go to like what are you right. looking for you we know talked and about this previously yeah 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 so the thing was, was he was like super gung ho about it, and then on Saturday, that day, um, I remember being outside with him when this conversation happened, but I don't know where. I don't know if we were like walking into the restaurant or walking to the car, but I like vaguely remember being outside with him, and I was like, he had told me that he wanted to go look at some places the upcoming week. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to go do that on Wednesday. And I was like, um, I asked him, I was like, um, what places do you want to go see? And I was like, did you really like that place that I showed you? Because it was just like super convenient for everything. And I had a little playground and I had a pool. Like it would have been awesome for his kids. And it was cheap. And, um, and so, and it was like close to Frederick. It was like, it was, it was close to the gym. It was close to work. It was close to me. It was close to everything. And it was in Brighton, which is what he wanted. And so um, I was like, did you want to go check that place out? And he's like, yeah, I guess. And he, like, didn't seem sure anymore. And that was the part that I wanted to tell you. I just figured I'd give you all the backstory. Sure. Um, so, <laughs> so he's so not he, sure about the particular apartment or about even leaving? So he told me that he... Like, he looked at it, and he told me that he thought it was nice, but he didn't really seem like his interest was that peaked. And I was like, well, did you find anything that you really wanted to look at? And he told me, yeah, that he found a few, but nothing that really, really piqued his interest. And I was like, well, you might want to get started. And he's like, well, I, I found one, and I asked him, I said, which one is it? Because I think I've looked at, like, every apartment in Brighton, and maybe I'll remember it. And he's like, I don't know, I don't remember the name of it. And he kind of just like disregarded it. And it was kind of strange to me because like the whole week prior, he was like so excited that I was trying to help him because like, he's busy, I'm busy. So I was like, you look, I'll look, let's see if we can try to narrow it down to like four or five spots and then we'll find something that's good for you and your girls. You know, and, and he seemed like very enthusiastic about it like during the week when the conversations first really started ramping up about like you probably got to figure something out because that house is going to sell really fast you know or mm -hmm. at least be prepared and so, so why do you think he was removed or not interested on on your saturday night wherever you guys were i don't know i mean sometimes like i think about these things and i feel like they're all assumptions but at that point like maybe he already knew something that i didn't i don't know but it was just a complete mood change where he just didn't even seem that interested. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, we don't have to do that on Wednesday if you don't want to. And he's like, no, no, I know I need to get it done. And I was like, all right. Okay. You know, because I wasn't going to, like, force him to do it. If he doesn't want to do it, don't do it. Just say no, you know. And I was like, and for me, I was like, I was just offering to help because it's like, I know what a tedious task it is trying to find a new place to live. Right. Um, what so else? Any other new info? Um, that part where he was just like really unplugged on Saturday, and then there was something else that went with that. Let me just think for a minute. It was um, I didn't write all this down. I just wrote that part down. I can't believe I can't remember all this stuff. Yeah, so you do remember so like much stuff already. Slowly comes <laughs> to me all the time. Well, some of this stuff is just things that you would never think about. And now that I'm like, 
hindsight's 2020. Right. I'm like starting to go back. There was something else that happened on Saturday that had to do with all of this. Think about it for a minute. I'm gonna see if uh, my tech guy has his do that. equipment charged, do that. and we'll get your phone taken care of. Okay. So again, I'm gonna have you sign this. Uh, voluntary consent. Yep. It's the same thing that you signed in Thornton saying that, you know, I didn't threaten you, intimidate you, you have a right to say no. I want you to read the document again. We're going to take your phone, we're going to use um, uh, a program called Celebrate. If you go to your phone store, that's what they use sometimes. They used to do this, they used to move your stuff back and forth. It's the same thing. They're going to take that information and then um, an examiner who is skilled in looking at cell phone data is going to look at it to try to recover the deleted material that we're after. I hope so that they can get The deleted it. material is what I'm after. Obviously. I know it is. I feel so bad that I did that. I didn't even, honestly, like, that's not even what I was thinking about. I was just so, did not want, like, any presence from him. Right so you're right. okay with us doing everything? Just take everything. the whole phone. Awesome. Just take it. I feel like we've been trying to I'm going to put like all data on here just yeah, for just ease, okay? So no. read that and make sure you sign it that you understand that we're going to take all the data. Once I have all that stuff, I'll get your phone back to you. Okay? That's okay. I mean, I'm not even going to use it anymore. I'm going to just use this. Okay. I'm going to still get it back to you as soon as we're done. Okay. All right. So okay. next week sometime maybe. Okay. Or the week after or something like that. Somewhere in that time frame, okay? Okay. All right. Relax for a minute. I'll be back in a sec. And it's not a two bedroom, it's a one. 
So that part kind of seemed odd to me, but I'd seen a few things online that were kind of cheap, and I was just like, all right. And he's like, I'm just trying to cut costs. And I was like, that's cool. I was like, how else are you doing that? And it was just out of curiosity. And he's like, well, I decided to get rid of cable. And I was like, okay. And I was kind of taken back by that, too, because he loves sports. Dude, like, lives and breathes football. So I... Uh, I was like, okay, and I was like, that's a good cost to, you know, to cut back on, and he was like, yeah, I think I can watch, still stream sports via a fire stick, and I've heard of those things before, I don't really know a lot about them, um, but he was saying that he had a buddy working on it already for him. Who's the buddy? He didn't say, I didn't ask. Why do you think that's important? that he had all that set up? I don't know. I mean, it made me believe like, that. That he was ready to move out? Is that? Oh, I get what you're saying. Go? Yeah, like he was prepping. It still sounded like he was okay. prepping. I mean, everything he did sounded like he was getting ready for everything to happen. The only thing that I found really peculiar about the whole situation was the fact that he just kind of seemed disconnected about the apartment thing on Saturday, whereas in previous conversations, he was the one who brought it up, and he was the one who seemed really excited about it when I offered to help him do some like leg work on trying to find him a spot for him and his girls. Right. I'll be right back. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who his friend was. It was just weird because sometimes it seemed like some of the things he said he was still really. A lot of things he said made sense. It still to this day makes sense. And then other things that he said don't make sense at all to me anymore. Or like they changed, you know? Her. Well, you know a lot more now. Well, unfortunately, you know a lot more now about terrible things that may have happened that changed the way you're thinking about what he said, too. So, making you think differently about those kind of, that verbiage. Right? So, we, we've talked a lot about a lot of different things. I hope I'm helping you guys. <laughs> you certainly are. I hope so, because I'm so, I don't like having this stuff on the top of my head. It's so hard, and so many days I can tell that my mind is trying to, like, block it all out right now, and I think it's almost like a subliminal, like, coping mechanism, and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to, like think about it so that I can help you guys and I just that's why I so why don't you give yourself a break for a day or two and just live a normal life stop thinking about this stuff for a day or two and then revisit it maybe that'll help you because you look like you're tired again I lost my job yesterday so that's where that comes from you can, lost your job with the geosciences place as well okay sorry to hear that with, I think you mentioned with your skill set though you should be easily employable in another uh, locale. I don't know. I don't know. I hope somebody hires me. I hope people don't see my name on a resume and just not hire me. Well, your name hasn't even made it in the papers yet. Not yet. So, remember you said that you had some locations you could go out of state, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that's what you're thinking or whatever is going to work for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about all of that. It's just a matter of timing and trying to figure out when to do it. I'm hesitant to do it all too soon and I have to do it all over again. Tell me the name of the geosciences company I forget. Tasman. Tasman, that's right. I think I was just so bummed because they told me that they would keep me and then they called me back and let me go and I was just like, man. So did they essentially fire you for Pretty lack much. of a better term and that was yesterday yeah they said they let me go because they hired me to do a contract job and now that contract was over it was unfortunate because they had a barco actually offered to pay me for a while and Tasman said no so I just wish they would have been honest with me in the first place but it is what it is so now you're out looking for a job too. 
I mean, I'm not doing that. It's not even like a priority to me at this point, but it will get dull. It. So yeah, since I need Hazel to help me out with his lease and sell my truck and change my entire life, and hopefully somebody somewhere will give me a decent job and give me a chance and not judge for all of this whole disaster. So that's why it's good. You said Hazel was going was helping you out with uh, some of your lease stuff. Alright, so oh. yeah. when we're here, I think she usually comes in in the afternoon today. So we'll check with her. Hey, I think Matt just went the other way looking for me, but he'll be back eventually. Awesome. <laughs> so he must want this for something. Probably charge my phone. I didn't charge the last thing I charged. This one? Yeah. Here. What's this? Oh, this is your, this is the Verizon. Call logs? June 13th. From what date to what date? You want this one back? It's a month. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, no, you're good. I don't know. It's a month. So it's probably whatever 30 days was. Probably ju July 14th, I assume, to so August 13th. You'll see it. When you open it up, you'll see it. But it's a month. So my so billing. Can I just take this real quick and, and move it off your thumb drive and I'll give you your thumb drive? You can do whatever you want. Okay. That's yours. Um, you don't need this back? <laughs> Um, no, I mean, you can give it back if you want. Yeah, I'll just go download this to my computer real quick. There's, so, I think, so it's a month. It ends on the 13th, and that's why I was saying, when they bill me next month, then mm -hmm. I can give you the 14th and pass that. And I could have given you the 14th now, but because they haven't billed me for it, like, this is in a nice PDF, but the, the, the unbilled one is, like, in this janky Excel format and you could like manipulate the data you could I don't I don't so want to give what it is on here specifically PDF of your complete phone bill for your cell phone that ends on August 13th okay. everything uh, after that you I'm can gonna go put this on my phone or okay. and, on my, and computer. my lease agreement is on there and I told Hazel that you had it okay so can I'll, I'll share that it with her. her because she needs that yep, and I will. then um, my there's also like a computer record of me talking to the Verizon wireless people asking them if they can restore my text and what they had to say about it just so that you guys know that I did the due diligence to attempt to do sure. that. Okay. Um, so those are the three things that are on there. So there are the messages that synced up when you started are on this phone, right? Mm -hmm. So when she started, it, this phone's like two years old. Okay. But when she turned it on, a bunch of deleted messages from Chris that were on that uh -huh. phone synced up with that phone. Okay. So that's the one I want to try to rip. Okay. So, so we're going to download this yeah. phone. But this one's coming with evidence. Yeah. Exactly. Here. Okay. So this one's going to be coming with us as evidence. That one okay. will just rip. So she has a phone. Okay. I need you to log into Google. I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, that might be an issue. I know. <laughs> I mean, if you guys really can't do it, I'm sure I'm well, going to go through it. There, there's another way we can do it, or we can try. Man, I'm usually really good about passwords, but this one, I don't know. I really don't. I was okay. messing with this before you walked in here. And that's the only way you can download the apps, right? Let's do this. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to figure I'm not it out. A, I'm not an Android guy, so I don't know. I don't know. I never, I haven't used an Android phone in like two years. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to figure this out. That sucks, but it's okay. I well, mean, there's another There's another thing that we can try. Sorry for nope. the convenience. Did you have a text message on? So when I looked up to, to I mean, I, I Wi-Fi, I think you got a couple more extra. Oh, I got these. Yeah, this came in on my other phone. This was like right okay. when I transferred. Um, so I think your contacts should be. Um, connected to iCloud now, so. Shouldn't lose them. And we can use. We can try and use our down the machine that we used to download 
the phones can also transfer. Be I've never done that, so I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay. I just, that would be so nice because I was looking at these messages and I was like, oh my God, like, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, right. don't know, don't know. I mean, again, I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quick if I read the text. Look at them all. Yeah. They're all awesome. different. Okay. And so you would just save me a lot of time and stress. Okay, and then we're keeping this one. Yes. Downloading it and giving it back. Yeah, and okay. then this one, I think he only needs one number off of and that one you guys are taking everything. Okay, but we're keeping this phone, right? Yeah. Okay. That's yours. Okay. Thanks. All right, let me go see if I can transfer the contacts. Do you want the wall charger that goes with it? Um, I'll just put it here so I don't forget it, but I don't need it right now. I will be right back. Okay. We're in a little bit.
about. Okay. You, I have that now. I have the lease. I'll give it to Hazel. Okay. Um, did he get your phones taken care of? I don't know. I took them both. All he right. Gonna try. I'll step out for a few minutes. Okay. Give you guys a few seconds. All right. If you remember anything else, we'll talk before you leave. All right. Um, Hazel said she knew that you had been fired, so um, maybe get some advice on that too about potentially leaving here and starting starting a new somewhere else. That is a good good thing. All right. I'll be back in a few. Thank you. So, and and the dark room by the other company as well. Yeah. Well, and Ergo just terminated my contract. I mean, I, I don't blame them. That's just not a good place to be. Yeah. But they offered, they were concerned, and they offered to pay for like a few weeks. Well, that's, that is pretty generous. It was very generous, and Tasman cut it off. They're just like, we don't want to build a contract or you're not actually working. Like, I respect that. You know, I just, I don't know, I think uh, it's kind of disappointing because they told me, you know, I informed them of the situation and then they contacted me like a day later and they said, oh, you're good, don't worry about it. And they contacted me the day after and pretty much just let me go and it's like, just be honest. I well, just they be giving you another, another job or another appointment? They would have had to have. And I kind of had a solution for that situation too, but they didn't seem like they were all about it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I've only been working with them for like four months. They don't really know me that well. That's Tasman? Mm -hmm. And so are they, are they saying that your contract with them is also terminated? Or yeah. that you just aren't working in a dark room anymore and they'll find you another position? They told me originally that if I wasn't going to work in a dark room, they'd find another place to put me. And then they came back yesterday night and said, since you're not, con we hired you for the contract with Anna Darko, and since your contract with them was terminated, we're letting you go. Okay. <coughs> Did you call the person whose name I gave you it? No. Really? I've spent all day trying to do stuff with these guys, yeah. so I haven't had a chance. I think it might be helpful just to talk to him and see what he has to say about it and see if there's any, you know, he'll probably ask you what your contract with them was and ask you for some more details and see if there's any way that legally he can help you out or if he can create some sort of mediation or something like that or at the very least negotiate a positive um, referral to another agency or something. I mean, they told me they'd give me that. He seemed really taken back when I asked him, but I was like, can you at least give me a positive referral? I mean, I did great work for those guys. Mm -hmm. They're definitely going to miss me being on their team for sure. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I like, okay. I mean, I didn't really know what else to do. I just, this is like one long more thing on my plate right now. I'm just, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't think anybody's going to hire me. Well, I think that right now, what you need to worry about, it sounds like a really good supportive family and people that are going to help you get through for a few weeks while you're looking for work. So I think right now we need to just concentrate on getting your lease situation worked out so that you don't have to worry about carrying two places and getting everything worked out with food and comp so that you can get started into some therapy. Yeah, I still just don't think anybody's going to hire me. Like, since my name's in the media, like, why would you do that? Well, it hasn't been yet. And it doesn't mean... Businesses won't necessarily... The hiring agents won't necessarily have watched the news or know those things. And if they do, I think you can just explain to them that you're doing everything you can to cooperate with law enforcement you do what you can to have it not impact your job and you know your work at your work at both in Anadarko and any place else you've worked prior to that is a good testament to what a good worker you are. And through all this you kept going to work, you kept doing your job, you were responsible towards your agency, you informed them about what was going on, you did everything you needed to do. So I just don't think people are gonna hire me. I have a feeling that <laughs> trying to get by for the next like five or ten years is about to be real. Okay, well I think
think that thinking that way is going to be a little self-defeating. So let's try to take care of what we can take care of and try to build things up for you so that you have the most positive prospects for the future. So I, mean, I just don't even know where to start. Like I have friends that can give me a referral, but what I don't want to do is have my friends give me a referral and then they see the news and then they are very taken back. And I think some people would be kind of upset if I asked them for a referral prior to the news breaking. I almost feel like waiting until it breaks to like try to approach people. Well, have you tried thinking about like a temporary agency or someplace? You know, like Kelly Girls. I mean, I know they don't pay well, but something like that. I don't and I know it's probably well, well below your skill level. I don't know. I'll probably go back to the oil field at some point. Most of those people are a bunch of societal outcasts, so it might work. Are you happy there? Huh? Were you happy when you worked there? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Sometimes not, but... But it wouldn't be torture to go back to that. No, that's all I know. Well, it sounds like that's a good fallback, at least until all this gets resolved a little bit. I mean, if people hire me. It's hard to get a job out there in this because I'm a woman. Yeah. I don't think you can do it. Well, you have a history that shows otherwise. And that goes a long way. I understand that I, um, H.P. Quebec has given, has a copy of your lease, so I'll talk with your landlord and see where we can get, um, as far as getting you out of that, and then I have a list of, finally, I have a list of referrals for you for therapists. Thank you. And Did they approve it? They haven't yet, but they said they should by the end of the day or early tomorrow. They just have to go through a procedure. You know, it's, it's the government. Everything has a procedure. So it's just going through the procedure. But you could get started in the meantime calling the therapist and just doing little interviews with them. You know, like we talked about, just making sure that it's somebody that you feel confident with and that you feel comfortable you can say anything to. And then I would also ask them, just because I know you have a hard time sleeping and I know that this bothers you, all the time that you could wake up in the middle of the night having some issues you want to also talk to the therapist about what kind of after hour support you could get. You know, do they have a an emergency line or somebody that you can talk to if it is four o'clock in the morning and you haven't been able to sleep all night. And if you need some help making those phone calls, Bobby Joe and I can help you.
talked to my dad and I was like, do we do damage control on the rest of these people so that they're prepared or not? And he was just like, yeah, we'll do it. So I just called like my closest friends and I didn't say anything about the case or that I was a witness. I just told them, I was like, hey man, I need you to do this for me. Like, to me, I closed your door asking you questions, just tell them no comment. Please take all the pictures that you have of us off of social media. And I love you and I'm safe. And I didn't break any laws. <laughs> well, because they start freaking out. Like, what did you do? And I'm like, no, yeah. it's okay. You just help me, please. So, yeah. I mean, so far. Well, when we talked about that, how you believed that your friends and your family would, at least for a while, be supportive of not knowing anything, just knowing that you needed their, their love and support. I mean, it's been four days that they've been searching for me and they haven't found me yet. I'm sure they will eventually, but I think four days is it's not a bad start. I think you're right, and and they still haven't found my phone number. And you do have a plan. Do you know you have the plan to just say no or to hang up? Don't answer the door. Don't answer the phone. You'll have caller ID, so you know if it's your family or your friends, mm -hmm. and you have a voicemail that you can they can leave a message and just say what they want if it's family. Everybody else you can just ignore it. You don't have any obligation to talk to any of them. Right. That's pretty much where it's at. Tally's just like one task at a time every day to something else. Mm -hmm. But I'm here and they got my phone so hopefully they can get what they need. And Good. Hopefully it will help. I'm just trying to do everything I can, but at this point, it's like I don't even know what to do anymore. I just like really want to just start taking care of myself and not everybody else, and I feel like it's just not happening. Well, I think that's all you do have to do right now is take care of yourself. There's really no one else that you have to take care of right now. You know, let your friends, let your family take care of you. Let them offer you support. You're doing everything that we've asked of you, and you just need to now take care of yourself and get yourself through this. And let your family support you, and let your friends support you. You don't have to take care of them. You've done what you need to do for them. You've told them, I'm in a situation in which I just need you to support me, unconditionally support me. And that's all the taking care of them that you need to do right now. There'll be plenty of time for the rest of your life to take care of people. Right now, you just need people to take care of you. Be nice. I know I've asked you this before, but I'm going to ask you again. Um, are you still feeling like you're not thinking at all about suicide or hurting yourself? No, I'm not thinking about any of that. Okay, good. And you promised me you'll let us know if you start thinking that way. I text you guys in the middle of the night every time I'm sure you know. Okay, so you will. <laughs> okay. Okay, because we want to be here to help you. We don't want this to turn into another tragedy for you. Understood. I didn't know what time you were coming in today, and I have another appointment that okay. is coming in. Okay. So I'm going to do an agent go back to that too. That's okay. So that you're not sitting in here all by yourself? Okay. Because <laughs> it's not a pleasant room to be hanging out no, in. No, not at all. This is awkward. They have my phone, and the phone's ringing, and I'll just sit here. But <laughs> oh, well, actually, I don't have to go and find out for you. We're trying to get your phones to work. But you don't remember your Google account? I should, to be honest with you. It's like programmed into my, my the two places I use it all the time, and so I don't have to remember it. So the only way to transfer your contacts from that phone, from your iPhone to that phone, is with your Google account. I mean, if I need to, I know who we're gonna, or We're going to print your, we downloaded them, so we have the file available. We can print it for you. Can you do that? That yep. would be nice. But we can't. We can't move from because that's okay. Your so your phone is essentially you won't be able to download apps or anything like that without your Google account. Okay. So, but you do know it. 
I do it on my Google account? Yeah. No, if I did, then we wouldn't be in this. But you know, you, do you have it somewhere else? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure I can okay. like reset it and figure it so out what at this point. So just making sure you have a phone that's going to be usable. Yeah, I mean, I can make incoming and outgoing okay. calls at this point. That's all I really care about. So he's going to download the messages that um, uploaded <laughs> when you redid your phone. So that's take it. it it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there's not much on there. Yeah. It's should, pretty short. It should take just a few minutes and then we're done. They're all like, they're not even on the right date, some of them. It's really weird how they're time stamped. Okay. Like there's one on there on the 13th and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that was a conversation. Between you and Chris? Yeah, but it was like not that same day. The like, 13th was a Wednesday. Or the 12th. I don't know. It's we'll, not we'll in look the right them. spot. They're okay. not in the right spot. Maybe the date on the phone is messed up. I don't know. I'll look at the phone and we'll see. Well, it's out of order. Like, unless I'm confused, but I'm pretty sure the last text on there between me and him was actually probably somewhere in the middle of the text. So when you say out of order, like... Like, it's saying, oh, hey, this happened on, like, Tuesday, but really, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that happened. Okay. All right. So it's only about if one. it's critical, we'll talk about it. I don't um, think I need to look at the text first, though, before I know. Of course. Okay. Understood. You probably want to go. Yes. Well, <laughs> because you have your next, want you have your next you client coming in. <laughs> um, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. And I'll send you those therapists and then, you know, just get started and giving them a call and seeing who you think is going to be a good fit for you. So this we can have it ready so the one that can come says yes, you can get started right away. Thank you. And if you need any help making those calls, you know, you start making them and realize you just can't do it on your own. Just call me either Bob Joe or I can just um, call with you and, and be there with you while you make those calls. Thanks. Okay. And if you want to, try to give the guy from CDLA a call. I will definitely call him. That is the, on my priority list at this point. I just not on the top of it. Yes, no, I understand that. I understand, <laughs> and I'm sure he'll say it depends on what your contract said. So, if you have your contract with them, where your dad can get to it, it's probably at your house. Um, if you can have it where your dad can get to it or something to get for you to send to him, that'd probably be really helpful. I have it. It's all remote. It's all electronic. Oh, okay, good. I don't have to go back to that. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Thank you so much, Hazel. And call me to check me anytime, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Awesome. All right. I'm going to see where he's at. What else? Anything else while we're here that you can think of or want to address or you remember? Sometimes I feel like I remember stuff, but it's like vague, you know? Like, I'm like, I, can't, I don't know. I don't and not know. everything's important. Obviously. Yeah. I know I tried to get you to remember as much as I could because a lot of the stuff that you have told me over the last couple conversations is, is relative and it's important. And I appreciate you going back and looking at uh, calendars and doing all that stuff. But stop thinking about this for a while. I think we've got the, everything. I don't think you can remember anything more. We've had a lot of conversations about this case. So just give yourself a break. Go have dinner with one of your friends and have a. Nobody knows who you are. Not yet. So, even better to make that happen. Whoever you trust in, like Charlotte or whoever your other friends are, go have a normal night and not sit at your house and dwell on this. It might do you wonders. Okay? Are they going to post anything if they don't find out anything? Because I'm just surprised they haven't about done anything what? yet. About me. I mean, it's been four days. You know and that they been, are dying to find out who you are. I know. They haven't even reached my inner circle yet. It's been four days. you got good friends. Yes, I do. So be I, thankful for that. And I, we've, we've had this conversation. Is it, you know, you said you're thinking about going somewhere else? Go. I don't know yeah. when I'm going to do that. Can you guys help me with a name change? You like do that. I'm serious, please. So, I can't do anything for you. It, that's a legal process. It's, um, it's really not that difficult. 
Um, there's just paperwork that needs to be filled out. Uh, I think your best bet would just be to call uh, and maybe ask an attorney to help you with that or seek advice from, I don't even know who you'd call, um, honestly, but people change their name all the time when they get married. Um, so it's probably the county clerk, um, but it's gonna, I would think it would have to be at a state level to make a name change. But I don't know specifically how to do that. I don't. Does that like become public because that would defeat the purpose? I don't know. Um, I know you, it can be done, I just don't know how to do it, and I wouldn't even know who to reach out. I mean, I could find out and let you know, but I don't know how to do it. Um, you know, like the witness protection thing is very, very rare. I'm not expecting <clears throat> that. I'm, yes. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to hurt you, all those things. So. No, I'm not expecting that. I just, I don't even know. Like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to do it now, and I'm like, why? Because if, but they, if you go to another I state, I feel like it would defeat the purpose. You know, a part of me, I just, I keep getting really scared that it's going to be really hard to find good employment for like a really long time, like years and years and years of my life. I feel like people aren't going to hire But if you me. go to another state, this is not headlines in that state. You realize that. I mean, I, I, yeah, I do. And if I do a background on you, you're a good employee. It doesn't come up that you dated Chris Watts and you're involved in this case. It doesn't work that way. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like this is just like one of those things that if it goes to court, it's going to be like huge. Well, I mean, it's national right now, but it's not like... You know, it's not the theater event that happened in Aurora seven years ago, right? That everybody in the world knew about. It's not that. So, I certainly for you, you're under the microscope and you, you're feeling it. And nothing can, anybody can say, can change that for you. So, I get it. But I don't, I think you need to just step back for a minute, take a breath, figure out what you're going to do. Obviously, you have some serious very serious decisions to make over the next, you know, couple of months. I know. I'm trying to find out how to do all this without spending all my savings. <laughs> just saving up for a house, and I'm just like, damn it. Well, at least you have savings to fall back on, too. A lot of people can't say that. Yeah, that is true. Uh, well, since they fired me, hopefully I can get unemployment for a little while so I can, like, get my mind right and go to therapy and then go back to work at that point, because... I am not ready. So going back to work might be a good thing for you though, then you don't sit and think about this every day. I know. I agree with that. But finding a job is the big task. You know, that's why I told her she's like, Why don't you reach out to some of your friends and they'll feel about a job? It's like, well they don't, because know, who, they they don't, don't know who what's going on. No, they don't now, but what I don't want is somebody to give me a reference and then they find out what's going on. I think that's really disrespectful. I think you reach out specifically to an employer, not a person. Other, I don't know anything about the oil industry, but other companies like who you work for. I have this skill, and I'd like to come to work for you. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about reaching out to some old employers. I've always been a really good employee of those people. Everybody, when I leave, is pretty disappointed. This is the first time I've ever been terminated from a job. Sometimes that can be tough to get over too. It's hard. This was like the dream job. I feel awful about all of this. Like I wanted that for so long to get out of the oil field. I was so tired of living on oil rigs. It's such a rough life. It's like I just want to be in the office and work in environmental for an oil company and I finally got it and all this happened. Well you have that skill set now, so maybe you can move back in. I hope so. We will see. Um I forgot what else was in. Are you guys? Am I in trouble because I deleted his text? You're not in trouble. I didn't know what was going on at no. that point. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> if, is there a, does that cause question? Of course, of course it does. It does. Uh, there is, but is it criminal? No. Is there concern that you're hiding something? Potentially. That's why I want him, or I wouldn't be asking for him. I know. And I'm you've been to give up. You guys you've been upfront with me. Uh, about everything, I don't have, I don't have a concern that, that 
you know, you ever told Chris, I don't want you, you know, go kill your wife. No. Or no. get rid of your kids. Or I don't want to date you if you have kids. None of those things no. ever came out of your mouth. We've talked about that. Yeah. So, but until those text messages that are deleted um, are there, you know, and all that, it's just speculation. But it, it's kind of like, eh, why did you do that? And I get your excuse. I understand what you're saying, that on Tuesday you re realized who this man was and what he had done. You didn't want him to be part of your life anymore, so you got rid of it. I didn't even want to see it in my phone. It was, like, freaking me out. Because I remember I had, like, deleted them, and then he sent me another text. And then I deleted that one, too. Right. Because I was like, I don't want to deal with this. By the way, when you're looking through those texts, look for his... ABC phone for that one conversation we had where he screenshotted me what he did on Monday. You remember that? Mm hmm Yeah. And you said it, it, that's his Anna Darko phone. Uh-huh. Okay. And that should be the only, like, recent. Like, there's probably stuff if you guys are able to pull up from way, way back that we talked, but <laughs> nothing. The thing we talked about was him proving that he went to the oil field. That he went to work. That he went to work that morning yes. at whatever site he was supposed to go to yeah. to check on the so that'll be in there. release. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Um. And then I don't know. Am I allowed to like address my friends and tell them please no comment to the media? I mean, I haven't no been telling them anything, anything else. I don't. I would not talk with anybody about any of this case. Except, no, this I mean, I know you talk. You need to talk to a, a therapist. And you need to talk. I'm sure you're talking to your dad. To he's some extent. Probably I mean, the closest what's person. Not well, well. When he's not in here for this, I don't tell him about this. I tell him I'm coming down here, but he doesn't need to know anymore. He's so strange. You're an adult. You made some decisions that caught you in a bad situation, but there's nothing wrong with you talking to somebody. I just wouldn't go into details. No, I haven't even been telling people but I'm a witness for it. Certainly, anything. your best friend. I mean, if I was you. I'd be confiding in my best friend, like, hey, this is what's happening in my life, and I need help. Is there, is there anything wrong with that? No. I mean, that's about as far as confiding has gone was me telling her about some guy that I was hanging out with, but that was, like, way before any of this. Yeah, and you need support right now, too. So you do, there is no, we're not, you're not in trouble. There's no charges against you. You're simply a witness. I just don't want to, like, get in trouble for, like, talking to like my dad or like About asking what? a friend for help. Well, I mean like well my dad already knows, you know what right. I'm saying? There's nothing to get in trouble for. Okay, I don't know how that works. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I'm yeah. like, I don't there's, this is one more thing I don't need on my plate because I right. don't oh my god. You're not you're not um, in trouble. And talking to your friends and family about what's going on isn't gonna get you in trouble. Okay. I don't even want to talk to my friends about it. I don't even want anybody to know. I mean, they're going to find out, but I figure the reason that I think I'm staking out from the media as long as I have been is because nobody knows anything. And because my inner circle is really awesome. Maybe. I don't know. They haven't even Or are they that. just because you're not on social media? At all, but right. I mean, I eliminated all of that. Right. I like even had the ability to like go through. I went and found everybody I knew that had any public posts, and it was just like this needs to be cleared. It's all gone. Right. So you've made it very difficult for them to find you. Do I think eventually that oh. at some point they are going to find you? Sure, of course. I think they're going to find out where I'm staying at. I think that would be really tricky. I don't know. I, you haven't even told me where you're staying, so Nobody and knows. I don't know how it's connected to you or your family, so. I mean, if it's in your family's name, certainly it wouldn't be that hard to figure it out. So, well. if that, you know, there's ways to find out where people are staying, but they're limited. I mean, unless somebody, somebody knows about this place that talks to them. Nobody. So. Nobody. All right. I All right. I don't even know where I'm at. Um, let me check on this. Yeah, let me check on this phone. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was like, I'm not ready to go. I'm I know you're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so he's printing the, huh? your contacts. We'll be back in a minute.
replace those. And he's still messing with your phone. Just give, me, give me a few minutes, okay? Yes. Back in a minute. Did you sign this? Yes. Do you want a copy of that? Oh, sure. That would be fantastic. Back in a minute.
having a bad day. Okay, will you show me the messages that downloaded? I'm going to take photographs of them because the device that we were using doesn't want to work. I don't know. Oh, for those? The messages that came from Chris that you said showed up on the phone? Yeah, please. I don't think any of the ones from the Anadarko phone came in, but I don't know the number. Okay. I didn't see it. Maybe they can give me that number. We can check that one too. Um, I can probably get it real quick. Show me the ones that you think came from him, though. Is nine? Oh, yeah. No, he's and nine. Zero. Oh, just give me a sec. Boom, right there. Okay, so I, I am going to take photographs of these in lieu of uh, downloading it with this. Well, we just screenshot them and send them well, to Well, but there's no way to do that. No, I mean, because screenshot right here. This isn't hooked up to Wi-Fi or anything, is it? No, but I'm saying... It's oh, I see what you're saying. It'll come in clearer or you can watch me do it, is what I'm saying. What yeah, if I and then you want to... Shot them and then text them to you right now. Yeah, okay. or you can email them to me. I'll just send them to you right now while we're here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You know what's scary? I read this one. This is back in June 27th. This is like when we first started talking. I'm like, I am. Not loyal, truthful, dedicated, doesn't play games. It just makes me so sad to read mm. this and think like... So I are these some of the ones that you um, deleted? I deleted everything that he sent me. So but these are so old. Like, look how old. And was there any from those dates? Yes. So look, like these 627, 629, and these are old, and then they seem to be, see, and then we're missing the second and the third, and then there's the fourth. Okay, so there's a lot of messages. Kind of, but then, like, yeah, then there's no fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth, and then there's the ninth, but it's only one text, and then the seventeenth, one text. Like and you guys text how many times a day? All the time. I bet you guys have hundreds of messages okay. that you need to recover. But yes, so here's the eleventh. But look, there's only one from the eleventh. Can I just see what he said? Yeah, yeah, days? yeah. And then the only text I think might be out of order, might, is the one at the very end. I just wish they were more complete, and I don't understand why they're coming in in bits and pieces. Like, what's causing that? So the tenth. Oh, you went to you went to the Rockies game. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see him that day. I was with my friends, and I stayed with me that night. So this one's on Sunday night. Yeah, that's right. At four or seven p.m. What's he talking about? Pounding fruit? Is that you or him? That's him. Talking. Oh, so he was talking about that, that birthday party he was gonna go mm -hmm. to. Whoever was hosting it, I don't remember. Like he told me the name once. But Jeremy. I forgot. I don't even remember to be honest with you. Like the only names that I remember very well is Nick and Mark. Those are the only two that I could be like, oh yeah, like I could tell you like. Maybe a little Those bit are his friends. People. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he went to the birthday party and he said, Oh, this guy always barbecues. And then he was saying, Oh, he didn't barbecue. So he was saying he had fruit and asparagus. Um, yeah, didn't do any smoke barbecue okay. at the time. He did hot dogs. So he was saying he avoided that. He was like trying to eat healthy. So this is the final one. This um, is the one I don't know if this is in order. I'm not sure exactly what this is referring to or I think this one at the bottom is oh my god that's absolutely ridiculous they would freak out that do you remember when I told you like I was always trying to like incorporate his kids and stuff I mean even if it wasn't like directly like me and him but just like I was always thinking of cute stuff when I'd see stuff and I was like oh my god little girls would like that I would show him and I found this box of Lucky Charms that was Unicorn Lucky Charms. Okay. And I thought they were really cute, and I texted it to him, and I was like, do your little girls know about these? Because they're awesome. And I was like, little stuff like that. So and that's I don't think that that's the 13th, because I don't think I talked to him that day. What day was the 13th? I can't it's remember. Monday. Was it Monday? I think. I gotta look. Because I can't. I think it will, no, well then maybe these are in order. Monday was the day I think that I sent that text. Yes, that's Monday morning at 2.44 p.m. 
So that's an afternoon Monday. Does that sound right? I was at work when I texted it to okay. him. So that fits. Okay, so then and it is in order. So it is in order. So and this, this makes sense. Because that's Sunday, right? That's Sunday. Okay, so they're so they're in order. They're just missing a whole lot. So he's, been, he's basically saying he's still at that barbecue. Barbecue, and that fits. Okay, perfect. All okay. Right. So, so no, so then this one is in the right place. Yep. I was thinking 8.13 was Tuesday, and I'm like, I don't think him no. and I had very pleasant conversation on Tuesday. You want to screenshot all those to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's start And then, How do you screenshot? I turned this off, but... Oh, this is almost so weird, you like ninja chop it. <laughs> oh, I think that works. Okay, so that takes us down to 6.29, so then I'm going to scroll up to 6.30. Ninja shop. Interesting. It it's old. Old school. I had to do a stuff for comments and submission about how it's last night. I did not like it. I was like, this is scary. But it's cool. I got to do it. So I'm also going to go back. <laughs> okay. So, what you're doing now, let me ask you about the text with you in Charlotte. Yes. You talk about children and he's got his own kids and that makes you kind of uncomfortable because you'd like to have your own family. It, it, put that in context for me. Does that is that a fair statement the way I'm saying it? I mean, I guess. That was never anything I like said to him, though. Okay, that's what I want to know. Did you ever say anything to him never, about, like... Never. Um, anything about his kids being a problem? No. Anything about his wife being a problem? Never. Never. Okay. I always try to be so inclusive with them. And even when her, with her, when I was talking to her, it wasn't that his kids were an issue. It was just, this man already has a life. Mm. Should I go build my own, you know, with somebody who hasn't done that yet? And then she was the one that was saying, you know, I was engaged once and it didn't work and now I'm engaged again and she's trying to tell me, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm on my second time of going through this and she's like, I love this man very, very much. And she was saying, like, he's not going to love you less because he's already been through marriage once and been separated mm -hmm. and already had kids. Like he's not gonna Those references were never made to him though about never, children. Never. So Charlotte, that's who you were talking with. Yes. Did you one time tell me Charlotte's a lesbian? No, she's engaged. Okay. <laughs> you were you talking about one of your friends that might have been a lesbian at some point? That's not the case. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't You you never said that about any of your friends that I inquired about? I don't think okay. so. I don't think that was <laughs> I think on the first day we <laughs> talked with your dad there, we had I asked, inquired about Charlotte. Um, yeah, you asked me about Charlotte and E Harmony, and I like went through right. my text and I was like, what is he talking about? And I couldn't find it, so I was wondering if maybe somebody like referenced both of those two, but not in together. Okay. I'm wondering if that's where that came from. So Charlotte is your friend. She's your closest friend. You guys have this conversation, but it never went anywhere besides her and you. Yeah, you never, never mentioned it to Chris. You never said anything about your kids, or his kids, pardon me, damaging your guys' relationship. No. Or no, no, no. nothing like that. Never. And I mean, and even in that, it wasn't like I, I never said his kids were a problem. It was just like he already has a life. Like, I don't know about right. that. So in light of what's occurred, though, what I'm trying to make sure is that there was never a conversation that you guys had that he might have thought that you um, were saying, I can't be with you if you have kids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be with him if I couldn't. Okay. So because I'm just making 100% sure that those... I promise you. Okay. Like, well, I really want you to pull these texts because all the stuff I've been telling you will, like... Okay. Think of. And I hope we can. <laughs> I haven't been very lucky with your phones yet. They've uh, been nothing but a pain. So this one's coming with me. Okay, I think. Jeez. I, got, I know. This is a task. I'm gonna. Some of these might be duplicates, but whatever. I'm gonna send these to you. Um, 
No, that was kind of something between me and her. And it wasn't even really the kids. It was that, like, he'd already been married before. And I was just like, I don't know if I, like, am in a long-term relationship with this guy. Is that something he would eventually want? Because that's something, like, I would eventually want. You know? I just, so I, your concern was more about his prior marriage than his children? I guess. I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't really that worried about him at that time. Like, if you read the majority of those texts, like, it's very, very flattering to him and all the nice things that I have to say about him. It was just that I wasn't, like, 100% committed to him yet. I mean, I was monogamous with him. I wasn't seeing any other men. But I wasn't, yeah. like, hey, this is the guy I want to spend the rest of my life with. And part of the reason that I was uncertain, I mean, yeah, he'd already built a life, but honestly, like, he wasn't out of the marriage that he was already in. Right. So, I mean, I'm not going to go tell the whole world, like, hey, I've got this guy, and, you know, I'm going to take in his kids, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and it wasn't because I had any problems with them. It's just, he was married. Okay. So, um, I know the context of that text now, like, looking at it looks so bad. You have to look at it from the perspective that I'm looking at it. Yeah. And how it could be misconstrued or made out to sound something another way. That's why I wanted to give you the opportunity to say what it really means. Okay. No, I don't mean any harm towards those kids. I always thought they were so cute when he showed me those pictures. He was all about them. You know, and not only that, but it's like once you guys get those texts, you will see like there is not very much mention of his children and if there is mention of his children it's always like cute stuff where it's like hey you should show them this or hey this apartment's great for them or you know what do you think about beds and you know like they those little girls like reminded me of me and my little sister they're like the you same age before, right? yeah i mean like it was so cute like he would call his little daughter the younger one cc he called her rampage he's like she's wild and it used to just make me smile because my little sister was totally rampage <laughs> <laughs> and it just was kind of like spot on you know and so like it just kind of made me think like okay these guys are going through a divorce at the same age that i was at when my parents went through a divorce and it's like how did I handle that? You know, and I tell them, like, you know, this is what happened when my parents separated and we were this old. And just try to, like, give him a reference because I gave a damn. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, but just because I, I care about the him and I care about his kids and and all of that doesn't mean that I'm ready to turn around and, like, commit Did he ever to say anything like that? Like, do I have to get rid of my kids? Or no. Do he, I, you know... This shocked me just as much as I think it shocked the rest of the world. All of it. Like, he lied so much. Now I go back and think about all this shit, and I'm like, it's lies. Everything that they knew about him is like, lies. I mean, his friends let him stay the night at their house. He even fooled them. It's not just me. He lied to everybody. He had all of you fooled. And everybody stood up for him. His friends stood up for him. I really thought she left. I was like... Let her fucking go. You know, she'll come back in a day. She'll be alright. Let her cool down. She'll be here. It'll be okay. You know, like, how do we convince? Like, I think she's just upset. And then, and then, never would I guess. I mean, even now, when I go back through this stuff that I'm like, it doesn't make sense, you know, or it like seems a little off. That still still doesn't send a red flag to me like, hey, this guy's gonna murder his family. Sure. Yeah. I don't think there was any. You didn't have any indication, and by all accounts, doesn't seem like anybody did. No, I just like, uh, you know, sometimes I like try not to think what that man is thinking because like you don't know, you know. But it's like, how long? Has his brain been like shifting to this par this paradigm shift where he feels the need to do this? It's like I just don't believe that it's something that just happens in a day or two days. I don't think it happens in two months. I think that this is something that takes a very very long time to develop, and I don't. Right. So that scares you when you look back at it. Yeah, because I like I think 
about it, and I'm like, he could have had that capacity to do that whether I was in his life or not. He could have had the capacity to do that, maybe not even just to them. It could have been me. It could have been our coworkers. I mean, the more I think about it, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people are gonna probably assume that I was the catalyst for his movement, but I don't think, you know, not me, like instructing him, but him deciding to do that because he had me in his life and because he was so like infatuated with what we had going on. But, you know, like I try to put the, the reason to it at the end, like why would you wipe out your family to be with me? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't like compute. It's like, how would that go? Like, hey, my family just disappeared, and you think that I'm gonna just not be concerned about that? And not only that, like, he was so about those little girls, and I always try to, like, push him to do that. Like, I told you, like, there'd be days where, where, like, he would want to come over to my house after work. I'd be like, no, go hang out with your kids. Your kids are home. Like, that was me. That wasn't even him. That was me pushing that. And he would go do it, you know. And he spent time with them. But he was never like, oh, I don't want to hang out with them. He'd just be like, can I see you for a few hours? And I'm like, if your kids are awake, go hang out with your kids. You know, if they're asleep and you want to talk, you call me. But don't do that while they're up. Like, spend time with them. And and, and I just, oh, my God. And that, and that that is the part that I have, like, the hardest part swallowing where it's like, why would you take them out to spend time with me? Like, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I... But you said he was infatuated with you. But even then, if he's so all about me, and I support him being with his kids, you would think that he would want to do what would make me happy. That's a good point. And so maybe what that's would why make me happy <laughs> with him hanging out with his with kids. With his kids. Mm-hmm. And it's in texts, it's in phone conversations. Okay. I mean so that's what I'm saying that doesn't we'll look at it. It doesn't... I, that one particular context in that, just, it's so open, kind of the interpretation and whether or not you said it, that's why I wanted to address it in particular. Okay. Okay? Yeah, there's nothing like that in our text. I can tell you that right now. Never. Did you send those? Yeah, I've been working on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> How'd you ever get any work done? You get sidetracked. I actually <laughs> got a lot of work done. I'm just teasing you. It was a lot easier in the web field than it was in the other field, though. 871 Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, don't send those to anybody else, please. Yeah. Let's see how many I can do at a time. Screenshots. Probably send them all. Okay. 
off. I will like scroll through the headlines if they look different than what I uh, previously like knew about the investigation. Again, I'm just looking for my name so that sure. I know when it happens so <coughs> that I can deal with that. But other than that, no. I don't, um, I never actually watched that video. Okay. I don't really, like, have a hard time, like, looking at him now. It's kind of the same thing. Like, when I deleted the text, like, I saw his mugshot, and I, like, looked at it the first time I saw it, and it scared me. And now when I see it, I just, like, move past it. Because I find it to be... I don't get it. Did I just send it? <laughs> I don't know how to work this new phone now. I think some of these are repeats, and I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. As long as I have them all, that'd be great. I think you do. You look like you've been drinking way too much coffee. Because I'm shaky? Yeah. Oh, I think it's the sleep loss. A12. They're coming. You don't have the one at the very bottom, and I'll take one. Oh, you do. No, you don't. You know, you're missing the last one. Send me the last one and then we'll send you out of here. And then don't think about this stuff for a while. I'm trying. Alright? And then so when I'm done that. with your phone, um, I'll get this back to you. I mean, if you guys need to keep it, just. No, we won't need to keep it because what it's going to do, if I take everything, then it's just easy. I get it back to you. Okay? So the examiner that's going to look at it, uh, she comes back in early next week, um, and I'll try to corral her to do that as early as possible. So we can download your phone and get it returned to you. Hmm. Oh, let me go see if I can find his in Darko number real quick too. I'll yeah, be right back. Totally forgot about that. Right back.
Okay. 720. Are you just reading this? Look for his own Darko stuff so then you can get out of here. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they have to know. Do they know what you said yet? No. 